we always try to find the link in between the emotional part and the innovative part. When you see these wheelchairs, which are shaped for competition, you have just one wish, I want to try it. So I said to my team, let's try to find an idea to link this innovation and emotion with one project and let's use this project to transform the vision the majority of the people can have from these handicapped people. Now, we have to find a new way to address the subject. And what is the best new way to address the subject than to use a crowd design platform? kind of sports that are a bit risky. <laughs> I love them. Downhill biking is the most dangerous of the sport I practice. Sometimes when I fall, I don't know if I'm gonna be okay. That's my motivation to adapt them for people who have accidents so they can continue with these activities with their friends that are not disabled. My name is Mariana Dorin. I'm from Madrid, Spain. I'm a mechanical engineer. I have participated in the launch fall competition with a design called Kite Rolling. Superhuman Sports is a project that we're working on with Allianz. And so when we started, we thought our, our mandate, we thought we were going to start with was a 3D printed wheelchair. But we found that there was actually a need for what we're calling an off-road wheelchair, which told us that there was a market for this, that we could actually make something that could work for people of all abilities. So that got us to Superhuman Sports. If you think about the perception of a wheelchair is not empowering at all. And so our challenge was how do we break that barrier? For designers, that's a hard challenge to solve. My name is John Bukasa. I am from New Zealand. I'm a graduate in automotive design. I'm the designer of the Equalizer TX4. Some of the stuff that I look at is the books that I have here. This is something that inspires me a lot. I just love how real that looks. The research part of it is the longest because then you have to understand the subject, right? It's all about understanding this sport and the athletes, what they go through and the type of equipment that they use. Sometimes we make the mistake of trying to impress other designers, but what you want is to impress the consumer because they are the one who's going to buy the product at the end of the day. So you gotta put yourself constantly into the consumer's perspective. That's when the ideas start flowing from your head to your hand and uh, before you know it, you have a design. I'm Ilel, I'm a transportation designer based in Mexico City, and my project is called Spiritex. Paralympic athletes are the most successful athletes in Mexico today. And the question is how they do it. The streets are not well prepared even for people like us that we don't have any disability. That's what inspired me the most to design for these people. This is what I started to brainstorm all the ideas that was coming to my mind. And the hardest thing to me to find here is, of course, to create a project in which you can use the handles for direction and also for propulsion. For this particular project, I didn't sketch a lot because this was more on the engineering side of design. So I decided to go straight ahead from, from these basic ideas to 3D. device can be powered by gravity, it can be powered by a crankset as the bicycles or the wind. So I decided to make a design based on the power of the wind using a kite. The chair needs to rotate because the pilot needs to put the kite in the direction the wind rolls. You have the kite in the one hand, you pull the level, turn it, locking it in the position he wants. 
The idea here was for me to design something that is familiar but different, something that stands on its own in some way. The attractiveness is, I would say, of paramount importance. And I say that as an engineer. You need to be able to sell it. It needs to be adopted. You have to try to make a product that will actually go somewhere. I was focused to create a vehicle that could be really used on off-road roads. The most innovative part of the vehicle for me was the handles. I wanted this motion to be with the full body to, to have more power on the vehicle. And also I wanted to create the direction with the same handles, like you were a skin. This will give the athlete a complete different experience. This competition was intense because I had just come from overseas and I had about a week. From research to the final rendering, there was one night that I didn't go to bed at all, working on the project until I was satisfied with it. I think this kind of competition is good because it gives the designer the possibility to uh, share their ideas. So someone that has all the kind of knowledge in the other side of the world can give a feedback that can improve the ideas of the other designers. I really do think that co-creation is the, you know, the wave of the future. You can bring somebody from New Zealand and have them work with somebody in San Francisco, never meet, never know each other in person, but you're an engineer and I'm a product designer. You're gonna make something that's so much stronger. You have that kind of global brain power at your fingertips. I feel part of a worldwide community and this whole planet should be open to everyone to experience many, many things. That's the main goal as a designer, to create the same opportunities for all kinds of lives and people. All of a sudden this isn't just about an engineering or design exercise, it's about changing the world. If in 20 years, when my grandchildren will ask me what have you done when you were working, Instead of answering, I worked for an insurance company, I say, you see the 3D printed wheelchair there? I was at the origin of that. <laughs>